Hello everybody and welcome back to my garage. Today we'll be doing a service on the beast. So a couple of things to just begin with. I got me my trusty bottle of oil which I picked up from Suzuki South. New air filter because I've already done two services so Air filter every second service, brand new oil filter, and uh, some spark plugs. Yes, now the manual says I must run JR9Bs, but instead I'm going to use some JR9Cs. Let's uh, get the service done. So, the first thing I need to do is in order to change the oil filter, I actually need to drain the oil, but in order to drain the oil, you need to warm it up so it's like nice and viscous and that it's like really runny and stuff so i'm gonna idle the bike for a little while and uh, we shall be taking it from there a few moments later okay so i've let the bike idle for a while and I am ready to start draining the oil. Now remember, everything on the engine side is going to be hot. So we're going to take the oil drip pan. And we're going to stick this under the bike. And um, you can tell that the oil is nice and warm enough by when you switch off the engine, you can see just how the oil drains and fills up by the looking glass that it's warm enough, that it's not thick and sludgy, that it's actually decently fluid. So we're going to pop this here. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to... Pick it up, oh, melting plastic all over my hot exhaust. Right, and take this with the 17. I'm pretty sure it's 17. Okay, so I'm gonna do it at an angle. Um, do you, do you wanna move the camera and put it there just in, in, like next to the tire? Oh, like it can be there. Remember it catches like everywhere, so. Okay, this is hot. It's burning my fingers. A little. Sure. That is very runny. I mean, I know I wanted to drop the viscosity, but wow, that's runny. Here we go. That's how easy it is to drain the oil. Yes, so whilst my oil is draining, what I'm going to do is take off the fuel tank so that I can get to the air filter because I need to change the air filter element. While the engine was idling, I was busy loosening the tank bolts and now I'm going to proceed with taking off the tank and preparing to swap out the air filter. air filter got a bit of uh, fuel saturation going on there mm. oh. and I seem to have dropped this screw oh, there it is Let's see if I can fish it out with a screwdriver just pop that there so it's safe brand new air filter how are you? Oh, good, thanks. And you? Good, good. Hello. And now it's Amanda. Service for a change. <laughs> oh, is it recording? Yes, it's recording. Hi, Matthew's YouTube. <laughs> Please do not put this on. I'm totally going to put it on. Hello, everybody. Hello. What's up, man? How are you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hunting on, bro. Hunting on. Just let me get done with this and then I'll be inside. We'll be 
back. Several bad puns later. Okie dokie, so after that nice little visit from my sister, I am going to jump back on to finalizing this little bit of a service. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that there. I need to remove the oil filter, so I have this filter wrench, which uh, basically grips the oil filter so that I can remove it. And, uh, how it works is, it's a little bit clunky, but it does the job put it over the oil filter like so push this through there like so and then grab that and as you grab it it grips the oil filter so you can loosen it just enough so that it's loosenable by hand and then there we go you just take that straight off like so there you go nice and easy Bring your oil filter and um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to lubricate the seal the o-ring with a little bit of oil just so that it doesn't like get really grippy when you put it on and then it says apply oil to the gasket tighten two turns after contacting gasket by using oil filter wrench start engine and check for leaks i've only ever tightened this by hand And there we have it. Oil filters on. Gonna turn the sump plug. Nice and tight. Oil filter secure. Sump plug is secure. We need to change the spark plugs. Spark plug tool. This little guy. 17 spanner. And uh, what we do is. We take off these spark leads, plug leads, just like so. Drop in this tool, like so. We grab the spanner, and just crack it loose. And we repeat this with all four. It's just cracking it loose, and the rest you can loosen out by hand. So we're gonna jump on that. Now what's really cool with this uh, spark plug tool is the, there's like a little rubber thingy key inside there. <laughs> what a description, a thingy key. And um, basically what it does is it clips on the end of a cap. So as soon as it's on the spark plug, it holds it in place and lifts it out for you fairly easy. Except if that's damaged, which I've experienced once before, uh, then this removal tool doesn't work and you kind of have to fish it out with a pair of pipe pliers or long range pliers it's not easy at all so the difference between the 9b and the 9c there it is and there we go last spark, spark plug is in and i'm busy putting in the last plug lead wire minor service completed it's that simple actually just got to top up the oil and of course that's not a difficult task to do Get lost, man. So we're gonna crack that open. One eternity later. Hey, we're finally getting somewhere. And so when it gets to full, I will stop. Okay, we've used about 3.3 liters. So you can see we're sitting sort of just under the full mark, which is fine. 
but you aren't actually supposed to read the oil level with cold oil so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start it up now and I'm just gonna let it idle for a little bit warm up the oil and let all the oil fill into all the openings in order to get an accurate gauge of where the actual oil level is also this will allow me to test for leaks on the oil filter so is fairly low after I've just idled the motor so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a top-up and uh, where are we gonna check here for leaks oh. I didn't see anything that sticks out just do a wipe down and see what I see fun times right signs of leaking there so I think I'm happy guys thank you very much for joining me on my service of the beast if you've got any questions about why I service my bike myself why don't you leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want to uh, support the channel you can check out my patreon or buy me a coffee links those are in the video description and if you enjoy the music that was in this video why not check out excogitates channels his links are in the description and in the card above I really appreciate you guys watching this video, appreciate your guys' support, and as always, until next time, ride safe.